Hey, before we get into this video, I promised y'all I'd bring y'all up to date on my weight. I am 227.6 pounds this morning. And I have the I've stuck in the like when I got down to 230, I was there for I want to say almost two weeks. It's it's been a rough month for me and um I'm a little behind, but I will catch back up because that's how my body works. Not everybody is going to work like me. And you're like, oh, is she doing it wrong? I am not. I am dieting exactly the same. I am working my butt off, but my body will not release these pounds until it's good and ready. <laughs> so uh, as long as I'm dieting, I may fluctuate here and there. Although I am pretty dang excited because once I hit like the 37, 47, 27, 20, the seven mark, I stay in that number range. So 30s are gone. Pretty darn excited about that. Um, this video, this video is the video you've been waiting for. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll skip to my intro right now. Shh. Don't tell anybody. What I am about to tell you is top secret. What I've been doing to lose 130 plus pounds. Shh. Just kidding. So I'm gonna break it down for y'all today. Okay, so I've got a few steps and we're gonna go ahead and start moving through them. I even like, put a list down. So we've got five, five steps that we are going to go through today and explain to y'all how to lose weight, how to do it, what's been helping me, what I've been doing. There's no magic pill. There's no easy way. There's no, there, she must have figured something out. She must be drinking out of some holy grail or some fountain of pounds shed. You know, it's not. It's really not. Uh, you just need to come in with me. Open mind. Don't, don't come in to this video thinking that I'm going to give you the easiest way and you're going to drop pounds today. I, I'm not going to be able to do that for you. But if you listen, you're going to see how I've done it. So, Stay tuned with me, guys, and we'll get started. Number one, why? Why are you trying to lose weight? You really need to self-evaluate yourself. Why are you trying to lose weight? If you're trying to lose weight because you, you know, you you feel disgusting, you feel fat, be open and honest about that and embrace it. Love yourself and then start your journey. You need to be okay mentally before you start. I learned this the hard way. The first 20 pounds I dropped, I was depressed. I was sad. I didn't eat. I was exercising and just pushing myself to the limit, about to pass out. I lost that 20 pounds unhealthy. Like I've said, I will not count it. I will not. I sat back and I self-evaluated myself. I sat there and asked myself, why? Why are you trying to lose weight? Why are you trying to do this? Why? Because my world was falling apart at that time and I just did, I needed something to focus on or was it because I felt fat and disgusting when I looked in the mirror? What was it? What was the reasoning? No, it was my children is what got me. I'm trying not to get emotional right now. I wanted to run around with them. I just had Archer. I wanted to be able to run with him, be active with him, stay alive for him. Those are the reasons that are going to get you to the point that I'm at. It's your drive. It's your why. It is your why is what's going to also help in this journey that you are going to come on or, you know, begin, it has to be a good reason for you to stick with it. Not for other people. Everybody else doesn't matter. 
they have different whys. My why was for my kids and to be healthy for myself, to feel good, to feel active, not to be skinny, not to lose all this weight and just be able to wear a bikini one day because I'm pretty sure I'm never going to be able to do that. But I'm okay with that. I just want strength. I want to be able to run. I want the endurance. That is my why. What's your why? Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. So number two, uh, oh, sorry, caloric intake. So this is where you need to start counting your calories. Simple, easy dieting. You know, your diet is going to be a big role in your weight loss. It's going to be. There's no and ifs or buts. Sorry, guys. Uh, there's no, uh, like, types of foods that are going to, let, let's just make it really simple right now. You can have an apple. You can have six apples. Or you can have a Snickers bar. Both of them are going to equal about the same calories anyways. But here, here's the, here's the part. The apples, the six apples that are delicious and sweet and juicy, but let's not lie, that Snickers bar is sweet. It is delicious. It melts in your mouth. I get ya. I gotcha. Sometimes I choose that Snickers bar over the apples, but those apples, your body can process and break down faster than that Snickers bar. Your body knows how to break down the the carbs, the uh, fibers, the, you know, what whatever makes up that apple, your body knows how to process that, break it down, it's out, it's gone. And it works faster. You're still going to break down that Snickers bar, just not as fast. So you need those foods that are going to burn quickly, especially if you're on this diet. So... Like I said before, I eat what I want, guys. I, you know, I, but most of the time, if you follow me on Snapchat, I still need to upload this stuff. I'm sorry. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat or my Instagram or my Facebook, you know what I'm eating. I am not eating crap. I do once in a while. Oh, uh, don't get me wrong. I eat crap, but it's very seldom that I do. It's mostly weekends. And it's not consistent. And if I do have it, it's in moderation, guys. So, caloric intake. You need to be at a caloric deficit. So, if you're trying to lose weight, let's say, okay, at 2,000 calories, I can maintain. So, I'll stay at uh, 227.6. I'll stay there if I eat those 2,000 calories. A caloric deficit is taking away some of those calories so you're losing at the end of the day. So if I stick at 1,600 calories, I'll lose half a pound, okay? So half a pound over six days, guys, that's three pounds. Three pounds in a week. I can lose three pounds in a week. Sometimes I lose more, sometimes I don't. It depends on your body also if your body is going to hold on to that. Women, if you are in right about to start your cycle, you're going to hold on to that water weight. That's not going anywhere. So there, there's you just got to learn your body and also counting your calories. My fitness pal, best thing I could have ever started with. Yes, guys, I started out just like y'all have in the past. My fitness pal, counting my calories, whining and crying because I want... I want bad food. Figuring out that I can still have bad food. You have to find out this journey for your own. What works for me may not work for you. You may need to be on a strict diet because that's the only way that it's going to work for you. You could be on a looser diet than I am because your metabolism's better. All I'm saying is bottom line, if you are trying to lose weight, you need to count your calories. Eat what you want, you know, but if you're trying to do this health-wise, eat healthy foods, guys. Just eat healthy foods. Um, fish, great. Uh, a, another thing in my diet, I don't eat a lot of red meat. If I do eat red meat, it's a steak or it's uh, like lean ground beef. Um, if I have a hamburger, 
I'm taking off that bun, guys. I don't give away all my fries, but that's why I take the bun off. <laughs> so you've got to find what's going to work for you, okay? So caloric deficit. Be in a caloric deficit. You will lose. You will lose no matter what you're eating. So here's the misconception. Number three, exercise. So if I'm on a diet and I'm, you know, trying to lose weight, I have to, I mean, just run. I need to be able to run. I need to be able to do insanity. I need to be able to do all of these aerobics tapes or go to the gym and smash it. Just smash it. That's how I started. Thinking that that's what I needed to do. Boy, have I learned since then. So I burned out. Uh, I want to say a month, a month or so into my journey. I burned out. I did not want to work out that hard. I did not want to do that. And by golly, I wasn't going to. And I learned that as long as you're getting your heart rate up, and there's a way you can calculate this. You uh, go online, go on Google, go on Google. Google's my best friend. Um, and you need to look up what my heart rate needs to be to lose weight. So they're going to take your age. They're going to take your height, I think, and stuff like that um, and your weight. And they're going to calculate it all together and they're going to give you a range. So mine is 114 between 130. So 114 to 130. I am burning fat in calories. Okay. So you need to find your heart rate. What is uh, your burning uh, rate? So once you get your heart rate up to that, that could be walking fast, guys. If I do a speed walk, I'm already at 115, 116. Uh, if I'm jogging on the treadmill, yeah, I'm at about 128, 130. So that's my burning phase. Anything over that, exceeding that, of course you're going to be burning more and you're going to burn it faster. But ladies and gentlemen, you do not need to start out that way. You do not. Uh, walking, just getting into a routine of exercise, that's going to help you. Sorry kind of spittled a little. So just doing that alone is going to help start your progress. Get into the habit of exercise. Don't solely place it, you know, your your weight loss on exercise. Don't specifically do that. Um, start out slow. Get there. Get in the habit to where if you miss a day, you're like, mm, I kind of need to work out. I really want to work out. That's that's the key. So when you get to that point, that's when you know, okay, I can step it up a little bit more. Don't go in full force because I can guarantee you, you go into this diet like just taking everything out of your diet and you're just, you know, depriving your body of all these cravings that you're having, you're going to fail. Maybe not, but most of the time, I want to say about 90%, you will fail. Uh, going into exercise and hitting it and throwing everything into it, doing all of this, you're going to exhaust your body and your mental state. You're not going to want it. Who wants to do that? You need to learn to enjoy exercise and activities and you need to find what you love so you stick to it. So don't go out there and just, I'm going to do insanity. And I got burned out of insanity, guys. And I loved it in the beginning. But I was pushing myself so hard that I just, I need, I loved the fact that it was burning the calories off me. I stopped it because I was not enjoying it. Lifting weights and doing my own cardio, that's got me. Because it's different every single day. I don't know exactly what I'm doing unless I'm following a plan. I do this for myself and that's what's working for me. Find what works for you. You do need to be active for your health, not necessarily your weight loss, okay? So just remember that. Do not go in full force. Don't go in full force. Start walking, doing what you can do. 
to get in the habit, get in a habit, get in a habit, a habit, get in a habit of being active. And I guarantee you, you'll start finding ways and different things that you're going to love doing and you'll be able to get there. You will. You will. Number four, this is key. This is it. Y'all want the top secret? The top secret thing that nobody else can figure out what it is? What is it that makes these people lose massive amounts of weight? It's number four, guys. It's number four. Consistency. Consistency. It is consistency. How often you are doing it. Um, five, let, let's say Monday through Friday. I am tight. I am tight on that diet. I am tight on that working out. Saturday and Sunday, I'm a little looser on it. But that's five to two days. This isn't weekly, guys. I'll think about it. I'll, I'll see what I feel like that day. Monday through Friday, I am driving my butt to that gym to bust it. I am eating healthy to get me through the workout. You have to be consistent if you are trying to lose weight. And I've learned that if I'm going to continue to have this lifestyle, I need to be consistent. Just like I need to be consistent in my children's lives, I need to be consistent on this diet. And as long as you are doing it a majority of the time, you're going to be fine and you'll continue to lose on your journey. So work out regularly, diet regularly. Every once in a while, have a cheat day, have a cheat meal. Not cheat day. Don't do a cheat day because, oh my gosh, that has messed me up in the past. Um, do what you enjoy to do. Um, and if you do have a cheat day, like I've done it in the past, a cheat day to me is little portions of like things that I want because I can't plan everything, especially when we go to my grandmother's house. Sometimes they have donuts. Sometimes in the middle of the day, they're like, let's get blizzards or, ooh, let's have a drink. How am I supposed to plan around that? <laughs> so I do, my day is technically like 600 calories. So I make sure I stay within that 600 calorie of overdoing it on my cheat day. So that's what I mean by cheat day. So that way I clear that up for y'all. But stay consistent, guys. Just be sure that you're always pushing for the right reasons. Be sure that you're consistent with your why. Be sure that you're consistent with your calories. You're consistent with your exercise. Be sure that you're doing it a majority of the time. That's it. That's the top secret trick. That's it. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Number five. Hard work pays off. It pays off. It pays off. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm so super proud of it. Like, I've never been able to see collarbones. I've never been able to do that. My face is just, even if I, like, this is a big thing for me. I had, like, triple chins if I did this with a camera. Seriously, if I did this with a camera, you'd probably see, like, a hot mess. I can't even do this and see big roles anymore. Hard work pays off. It pays off. Um, do I have body dysmorphia? Yeah, I do. I still feel like I'm 300 pounds. But there's days where I can see, like, little things like this, where I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. I really am doing good. It's my tummy area and my legs where I feel like I'm still humongous. But when I look on camera and stuff, I'm like, you know what? I don't. <laughs> I don't look bad. But that'll be a later video, okay? My body dysmorphia. I'll try to do that this weekend. Um, anyways, it is worth it 
Oh my God, there's not a day that goes by that I don't think to myself, I should have never started this journey. I shouldn't even continue it. I am in love with myself. I absolutely love myself for the strength and the energy and the endurance that I've had to endure this. This is... How are you able to do this? As hard as you're looking at me right now, I was you. I was you. About a year and a half ago, after I had my baby, I really sat there and I thought to myself, how am I going to lose this weight? What am I going to do? I am disgusted with myself. I just, I need answers. I need answers. I couldn't find any that were working for me. So I've made my own damn answers. And that's all you need to do is make your own answers. I've given you guidelines. I am here to push you forward. You have questions or you need encouragement. Freaking comment. Call me. Message me. Snapchat me. I am going to link that today. Okay, guys, I'm going to link that. Um, I am here to encourage you and to tell you that you can freaking do it. If I can do it, and especially starting in the mental state that I was in in the beginning, you can do it. It's not easy. It sounds easy because Matilda's done it. But I suffer every once in a while from like negativity. I sit there and I'm like, I'm not going to be able to do it. I might as well just cancel my YouTube because I am not going to be able to inspire or keep up this, you know, losing. I, you know, and then there's days like this week where I'm just like, oh, I can freaking do this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to reach my goals. I'm going to be there. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. So you're going to have your ups and downs, but that's life, right? That is life. And it's beautiful and scary and hard. It's just hard. Life is hard. Life sucks. But in that darkness, there is beauty. Beauty! And it's strength from inside. It's, oh, just being able to outlook on everything else that just didn't make sense before. And it does now. Really, really does. So, I hope... This video was informational, a little entertaining, and I really hope that it helps y'all. I know I've been getting lots and lots of messages and people asking me, what are you doing? What is your secret? What is your secret? Are you taking something? Are you doing something? Nope. Nope. This is it, guys. What I just explained to you is exactly what I'm doing. Uh... If I get bored with something, I go try something else. You know, we just worked out with my brother-in-law last night. It was freaking awesome. I really enjoyed it. Uh, am I going to go do it every day? No, because it's not exactly what I do. But, man, it's awesome to switch it up. It's awesome to change it up. I love it. I enjoy it. And uh, kudos out to them because they are healthy living at its finest. And I absolutely adore them. So, uh Find your inspiration. Surround yourself with people that are going to help you uh, and motivate you. You really need that. Uh, that should have been a number six. Yeah, you really need that. But uh, like I said, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share, guys. If y'all, maybe we can help more than one or two people. You know, maybe you have a friend that's really having a hard time grasping it. Maybe she'll like me. Maybe she'll like me. So, um, or he, maybe he too. I'm, I'm so, uh, I'm not biased. I swear. It's not all female power. I'm about you guys too. Uh, I'm going to try to bring my husband in cause he's also lost 95 pounds guys. I'm super excited and very, very proud of him. Um, He's just kind of followed along in my footsteps and just saw how much it's improved me and helped me. So he started his little journey and uh, get him to come in and give y'all a male aspect of it and uh, really just get into it. I'm sorry. I'm all sniffly because I was crying. 
it is still emotional for me. Um, but anyways, guys, uh, I will see y'all later. I'll see you on my next video and, uh, we will talk about my body dysmorphia then. So catch y'all later. Have a great week guys. And I hope this helps.